ProjectWise is the only engineering document management system that uses a workflow rules engine to enforce the ISO 19650 standard on your project. We're going to look at the out-of-the-box framework. Your configuration might differ slightly, but the overall concepts are the same. I'd like to discuss why it's important that we follow this methodology. If we follow the requirements set out in the ISO framework and apply them to ProjectWise, this enables you to comply with the standard in a simple and easy to understand way. Let's look at the concept of the ISO 19650 standard and how we apply that concept to ProjectWise. Now this diagram sets out the four main work stages for the majority of documents. Every time we create a document, it must start as a work in progress document with the suitability code of S0 and revision version of P01.01. ProjectWise will help you to create the document with the correct code and you can work then in the normal way with your chosen application. When the document is ready, the user will choose to change the status of the document from work in progress to content check. At this point, the document is checked by the relevant person or via an automated process uh, if that's enabled for the project. If it's rejected, ProjectWise will manage the increase in minor revision and release it back to the work in progress user. At this point, the process starts again. We make the changes, go through the checking phase and eventually get to a shared document. Once the document is shared, it has a different suitability code, it loses the minor revision and it's then available for other people on the project to see and use for coordination. We can revise a document from shared and ProjectWise will increase the major revision in this case, we will go to P02, and again, the process starts over. From shared, the next stage is published, at which point it's a contractual document. And finally, we might use an archived stage once the project is finished. Next, we'll look at how we use these steps within the ProjectWise environment. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.